Here is the champ. You ask all the big leaguers, who's the best player in baseball? It's, it's you. They all say it's Mike Trout. Because he destroys baseballs for a living. I think he just did it. I think he just did it. It's insane what he's been doing for years now. Deep left field. Oh, 27. Does it again. And still the top center fielder in the game, it's Mike Trout. Trout was putting up some of the best numbers of his career, which is saying something when he strained a calf muscle in May. That never got better, and he missed the rest of the season. At the time, he had a 466 on base, was slugging over 600. He's now going into his age 30 season, having been number one at this position nine of 10 years. Now, he hasn't been especially durable. Though, remember, he did play 53 of 60 games in that shortened season of 2020. But look at the amazing rate stats the last four years. He has the number one on base and slugging in the game. His expected weighted on base, the quality of contact, is also number one. This isn't at center field. This is in the major leagues. And in war, the cumulative stat, he's dropped way down to number two. Mookie Betts is number one in that span. Yeah, I know it came up in the Sabermetric Super Panel. Chris Young, is Mike Trout still number one? Your thoughts on that? I don't think there's a player in the league who would disagree that he's still number one. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's the most predictable player. I think you, you get in baseball. When he's on the field, he's, his last 10 years, all in top 10, top five MVP voting, except for last year where he was hurt. But if he's on the field, he's going to be an all-star. He's on the field. He's going to be in the MVP conversation. And that's something that you just can't say with any other player in the league. Now, I mean, the game's played, I want to point out, at 20, look at 114, 140, 134, not especially impressive. He's still playing most of the season, but he's missing time. 53 out of 60, though, that's a full season in 2020 for, for what it's worth. I wanted to throw it in. And had he, for me, Chris, had he had lousy numbers and then hurt his calf and was done, that might be one thing. Hey, is this guy now getting a little older? But he was a 466 on base. He was slugging 600. He was better than ever when he got hurt. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not making a move on Trout. It's hard to say that a player of the caliber of Mike Trout can get any better, but he is just a natural player. And me being a former teammate of his, he's a guy, he goes in the cage, he knows his routine, he trusts his game. Mm -hmm. He doesn't go through major long slumps. And even his bad year is a year that a lot of guys on that list would take as, you know, their best year. Is this the right spot?